Okay, today I'm going to show how to send a Salesforce dashboard to Slack. And there's two ways to do this. We can use Centro's Salesforce flow elements, or we can do it from sale, uh, uh, Centro's Slack workflow steps. Um, both have advantages and disadvantages. Um, I'd recommend if you do have Slack workflow and you have a very limited amount of logic, to go ahead and use Slack workflow. It's going to be quicker and easier and, and faster. Uh, if you're going to have any kind of um, sort of logic in the flow itself, I'd recommend Salesforce flow because you can have conditional branching and more complexity with variables and whatnot. But I'll show both today. So the first thing we want to do is <clears throat> get the dashboard ID in question. So here I've got a sales dashboard called Clean Your Room. And I'll bring this down for the recording, but once you click on the dashboard in the URL, you can see the dashboard ID. We're going to need this dashboard ID for either use case. So go ahead and grab this and put it into your clipboard or notepad. Um, we're going to be using it here within our flows. Okay, now with that dashboard ID, if we want to go to Flow Builder, and we'll create a, um, we'll start with the Salesforce side. Um, here we've got a scheduled triggered flow. I'll go ahead and start from scratch so you can see that. So in Salesforce setup, go to Flows and go to New Flow. Pick a scheduled triggered flow. <clears throat> you don't have to set the object, but go ahead and set a schedule. Um, we'll pick today and a start time of whatever makes sense for your team. So maybe 8 a.m. Um, then you can choose to do this daily or weekly. We'll pick weekly. <clears throat> then we're going to do an assignment and we'll call this set variables. This is simply to create a variable to hold our dashboard ID. So we'll pick new resource, record or resource type of variable, call this var dashboard ID, make the data type text, and fill in the value oops, from your dashboard ID from before. Okay. Next, we'll pick up our action um, and we'll go to the Centro action. Okay, so we'll pick Centro, and then from the Centro actions, we'll pick Send Notification to Slack. <clears throat> All right, so now we can label this action. We'll call it um, Post Dashboard. And you can pick a dynamic channel. Um, you can pick DMs, um, but in this case, we'll just send it to our sales uh, team North America and we can post an optional message such as here is your weekly sales report maybe we want to make it fun with an emoji and then we can go scroll down to attach a dashboard and then just toggle this on and pick dashboard um, ID and use the variable you just created and that is it. So we will save the flow and we'll call this Centro Post Dashboard Weekly. Um, and <clears throat> let's say you want to do multiple dashboards into multiple channels. You could loop through those channels um, and make this quite sophisticated if you wanted to. But for this, uh, just to demonstrate how this works, we're just going to activate and because I don't want to wait a week, I'll just hit debug and we'll see this uh, pop into our channel. So here is our Slack channel, Sales Team North America. You can see our emoji or our message with our emoji and now it's loading the dashboard. Okay, so here's our dashboard in Slack. Um, Slack does this really nice thing where it's kind of doesn't take up the whole screen, but if we click the plus, we can zoom in on our dashboard and kind of see the um, finer detail um, and of course now we can create a uh, 
thread around this and discuss it or emoji react and have the team informed about what's going on. Okay, let's do the same thing, but on the Slack workflow side. So if I go to tools works, uh, workflow builder, I'll create a new one. I'll call this dashboard sales team. And I have a few options here. Um, I can do it from a shortcut. I can do it from emoji reaction. Scheduled time and date is gonna be very similar to the Salesforce flow. You do get some nice options about weekdays only, um, a little more flexibility, interestingly enough, from the Salesforce flow side. But um, since we already did a schedule, I'll do a shortcut this time. We'll pick our sales team, North America, and we'll call this dashboard. And all we need to do in this step is go to Centro's um, steps for uh, Slack. We'll do post the Salesforce record. Um, you can use an automation user. Um, that way someone doesn't have to have a login to Salesforce to do this. Um, we pick a conversation, we'll pick the channel we're in. And then for the Salesforce record ID, we're gonna use that same dashboard ID we did before. Okay, so we'll paste that in. Um, there's some other options. If you've seen our other videos, you can um, link these to Salesforce. In this case, we're just gonna do pretty vanilla and we'll hit publish. And now in our sales channel, we should have a shortcut called dashboard. And when we click it, it should pull the dashboard into the Slack channel. Okay, so it's loading. Okay, and here is our dashboard. Same thing as before, um, just two different ways to pull that in, either from Salesforce Flow or Slack Workflow Builder. Let us know if you have any questions and let us know how it goes.